congratulations on the three points this afternoon. Uh, nervy closing stages, but you got there in the end. Yeah, yeah, we, exactly that. I think um, we showed that we can win ugly. I've said it before, mm. but yeah, we we had to win ugly. It was a, it was a tough game, you know, how they set up but, uh, in the four four two, and you know, really made it hard for us. And then they they, they changed formation, which kind of stopped the flow of the game at, at Wales, and we had to adapt to them. So yeah, it was a tough tough game, and you know, we showed great you know desire and, and commitment, and showed some great characteristics to to manage the game and, and get us over the line so yeah we're, we're delighted with that but we're a little bit disappointed in, mm. in how we let them back into the game I thought at 2-0 we, we looked then comfortable but you know um, a mistake and then it led to, led to the, uh, the, the corner which obviously led to the goal so you know we're not happy with how, it, how that happened but you know something that we can we can improve on Yeah I, I thought you might say that actually because it, it shows the level and the standard that you guys have set of this Bradford City side that you were in the comfortable position but you allowed them back into the game so I imagine that's something that you'll, you'll work on and, and talk to them about yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll reflect on this, and I know it's a quick turnaround, but we'll reflect and we'll learn quickly from it. And that's what we do every game. You know, we, we keep looking for areas to improve, uh, if that's in possession or out of possession. But um, it, you could see by you know, after the game in the change rooms, the reaction of the players. Obviously, it was a hard fought game um, after so many games we've played so far. So you know, a lot of fatigue, a lot of mental fatigue, which which we you know we're delighted that that the players got over the line and got the three points. Yeah, how are the players meeting the task at the moment, which is this relentless schedule that you find yourselves in? Because interestingly there, not only do you mention the, the obvious physical fatigue, but there is, of course, the, the mental fatigue that the players go through. Yeah, yeah, we've got to manage that. We've got to manage, you know, how much time we have on the grass and um, and which players can, we can have on the grass, as, you know, it, within training. Um you know, it's it's a, it's a balancing act really, and we've just got to try and make as many good decisions than bad um, regarding our medical team, etc. So, um, yeah, the, the players are are getting through games, and you know, psychologically, uh, like I say, the mental fatigue is, is massively important. But we're showing that 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 desire to get through the games and and that real focus later on to defend our box, and I think that's. It's okay when you're playing Saturday, Saturday, but when you're playing Tuesday, Saturday, and it's you know relentless and you know crosses are coming into the box like they were today, then mm. you know it's a, it's a great sign that we are defending. We are holding on to, to these to these leads. With the scoreline at two one after Walsall got themselves back into that game, there was a, an altercation or an incident uh, in in the penalty area with one of the Walsall players going down. Did you think at that moment in time that that could be a penalty to them? Uh, from where I was stood, I think uh, it, it could have been a penalty. But you know, sometimes you know you earn your own, own luck. On mm. I have to get put my teeth back in. Yeah, you earn your own luck in, in this game. And I thought you know we, we defended well enough for long periods that, that hopefully that bit of luck was in our favour and it was today. Individual performance wise, let's talk about Levi Sutton. Firstly, look, a player reborn since you guys have come in, deserving of his goal and an assist as well. Just how much has he improved at Bradford City? Yeah, Levi's been been great for us. We obviously saw the, the qualities that, that Levi has. And, you know, we he was, obviously when he was banned, we, we saw him a lot working with, with the staff in the building and we saw his qualities. And, you know, we, we got the opportunity to work with Levi. And the, the thing about Levi is he... He always wants to improve. He always wants to learn, um, and you know that's that's a great characteristic in, in Levi, and that's why he's he's getting better and better. I think with, with mm. the performances, with the positions he picks up, and, and obviously adding goals to his game and assists is only going to improve him. You know from that deeper role as well. So yeah, we were delighted with 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 Levi. I think then in moments in games like this, when when teams kind of are hard to break through. You need them moments of quality and it came from Levi today. The nature of his goal, Mark, quite incredible strike. Were you encouraging them to shoot from distance this afternoon? Because we saw Canavan have a shot from relatively far out, but then indeed Crankshaw from about 30 yards out. Uh, we obviously, we reflected on the game um, against Leighton Orient. I thought we could have had more shots um, around the box mm. and, and really test the keeper. And we, you know, it's something that we said to the players, um, you know, in, in the build-up. So, yeah, I'm glad, obviously, he's, he's got, you know, got the goal, you know, 
Levi looked injured at that moment in time. He took a took a knock, and the next minute, he's picking the ball up on the edge of the box and he's put it in the top corner. So we, we were delighted with with that. Uh, but yeah, when, when teams drop into a deep block, um, you, you've got to have a play around them, or you, you've got to you've got to try and play through them. And sometimes you can't. So it might be shots from the edge of the box, and then and then you might have a little bit of luck with the rebounds. But obviously today, it, you know, it helps when it goes in the top corner. And he got an assist as well, setting up Andy Cook to get his third in Bradford City colours. It was a relatively quiet Andy afternoon for Andy Cook, but he got his chance and he buried it. How pleasing is it for you both? Because you identified him so early on, you knew what he could bring to this Bradford City side. Yeah, I think exactly that. It was a quiet um, night for him. I think obviously we also know a lot about yeah. uh, Cookie, so you know they tried to. To kind of and lift by his game, and you know they did at times, but you know he showed his qualities, you know, and showed his composure in the box, and he's a great finisher. You know, he's, we see it every day in training, so it's something that we, like you say, identified when we're bringing him into the club, how how well he can finish um, from from different angles, from different, you know, it might be from air relay, it might be from you know volleys, etc. But you know, he shows it every day in training. So, you know, when he got into them areas, then we were expecting only one thing, and that's for, for Cookie to put it in the back of the net. In terms of his availability, Mark, for Tuesday, is it fair to assume, given he's on loan from Mansfield, that he won't be available for you for selection on Tuesday night? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, he's, he's obviously with his parent club, so mm. he, he won't be available for, for Tuesday. Elsewhere, just on the other cook, um, looked like he picked up a knock and he, he ran it off, but then you decided to, to bring him off as part of the double change. Was that because of any potential injury that, that Callum may have picked up, or was that just tactical? It was just because uh, uh, one of them that we talk about in terms of capping minutes, yeah. Cookie was I've played a lot of football lately, and I think I think you ask him yourself, he looked a little bit more fatigued than than he is, you know he is. So he's you know he plays with so much energy and gets around the park and covers a lot of miles. So yeah, we've got to protect these players in this busy, busy period, like you would in, in the Christmas period. So yeah, it's just all about us trying to make as many positive decisions as we can from, from the sideline and obviously having the quality and strength in depth so always helps um, but you know they, they can change the game the other way but luckily today we, we managed the game and like I say got the three points Finally Mark no change positionally in the table from this morning despite Crawley's win against Exeter that leaves you 11th but now just four points between yourselves and the playoff places you know I'm going to ask you it but are you, are you going to give me the same answer that it's just one game at a time? Um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll, leave, we'll leave it at that then Mark absolute pleasure thanks so much for joining us live on BBC Radio Leeds and congratulations once again on the win this afternoon